And look at this fine weather we have this morning. It is a beautiful morning and we are on a very scenic drive. And we are not headed to the Wisconsin Dells where the last couple of adventures have been. Nope, we're keeping it right here in the great state of Minnesota this morning. And not just anywhere in Minnesota, an amazing place in Minnesota. Minnesota's largest candy store. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I was here a couple of years ago with my best friend Alice, and this is one of the few attractions in Minnesota that is currently open to go indoors. There's some social distancing involved, but that's okay. We are going to check it out. Look at that beautiful sign. Well, hello once again, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure. And that's right, we are at Minnesota's largest candy store today. A couple of years ago, I was here with my best friend, Alice, and it was busy. Today, not so much. I got here very early in the morning because they only allow 200 people in here at a time and the normal capacity is 600. So I thought if I'm gonna make it in this place, I better get here early. And it is going to be worth it. I wanna take a look and see what they all have to offer and the theming, see if it's changed at all, see what differences there are between last time I was here and this time here in 2020. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. This should be really fun, so come on with me. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go see what there is to see. And by comparison, this section alone is way bigger than the candy shop we were in last week. But that's not it to this place. No siree. Look at that. It goes all the way down there. All the way back there. It is absolutely huge. And they've got every kind of candy you could ever imagine in this amazing location. And one thing about this place, it always has surprises even before you walk in the door. Take a look at this huge dragon, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> They've got somebody guarding the door. That must not be an entrance right there. But what's cool is this is supposed to be a 3D picture. It says 3D photo, stand right there by those footprints. So we're gonna take a look. So here we are, I'm standing right in that spot. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Does it look 3D? I can't really tell on my camera. But that is supposed to be 3D right there. <laughs> I'll take a couple pictures, we'll see how this one turns out. Well, I can't really tell on my camera how the 3D part worked out, but I do wanna give credit for this beautiful work of art. It was done by McCann this year in 2020. So much detail and so fun and creative. Well done, McCann. <laughs> well done. And in case you're wondering where in Minnesota we are, we're right there. The finger is pointing right to us. They've included other attractions as well, like the Duluth Lift Bridge up north, the Blue Ox for Bemidji, They've got the cherry and spoon sculpture for Minneapolis. That boot is for Red Wing, Minnesota. And of course the cross there, that's Rochester, Minnesota for the Mayo Clinic. You betcha. And they claim to have the world's largest soda selection here. And that is a large soda right there. And in case you're wondering what kind, it is a Shirley Temple. So here's a story I didn't know about. There's the highway where we came in. There's a little yellow picket fence that they have. Here's the parking lot, which I better get out of the way of the cars here. Here's the store. 
And back in August 11th, 2019, a drunk driver driving 80 miles an hour came crashing through the yellow picket fence, as you can see right there. Crashed into this section of the store. <laughs> Chocolate went flying everywhere. You could see the table just blew up and sent, sent candy flying in every direction, 40 feet in all directions. The fire department that night came and towed the car out of the store. The police took the drunk driver to jail. They brought in a team of carpenters to patch the hole in the wall and the store was open the next day. And this little mural depicts that very accident. Look at that. <laughs> this guy doesn't, he doesn't look too good. And look at his bumper sticker. How's my driving? Call 1-800-OOPS. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow. Last time I was here, in front of the store, they had a whole bunch of kitschy little crafty items that you could find at different craft fairs and things like that. But this year they have the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. And it is all Disney themed. Mankato native Jim Schumacher dedicated 428 hours to assembling this 40,320 piece jigsaw puzzle. And look at this, they've got all sorts of Disney related content. Obviously the Lion King, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Bambi. Wow. This is absolutely amazing. This guy must have had a big table to assemble this on. I cannot imagine in my whole apartment where I would even put something like this together. Wow. Peter Pan, Snow White, and all seven dwarves <laughs> in just one little area of this awesomely detailed and fantastic world's largest jigsaw puzzle. I didn't think I'd be seeing a world's largest or world's anything today, but here we are. Right, Bambi? Good to see you. Oh, and closer to the front of the store, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kitschy stuff. <laughs> the big measuring sticks, the birdhouses. Yep, they still have, have it all here too, and I like these too, the, the traffic lights. Very nice. There's the door where we came in, and they have changed this place immensely with the theming. We are under the sea, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there's a whale. Oop, whoa, watch out, there's a shark. There's SpongeBob over there, a diver. How magical. Oh, there's Ursula. <laughs> this is absolutely wonderful. Look at this place. I feel like I'm actually underwater. It's quite an illusion. And this place isn't only known for candy, but also they have all sorts of salsas. Corn and black bean salsa, sweet corn salsa, all sorts of salsa, even cherry salsa. <laughs> if you're looking to get your salsa on, this is the place to do it. And of course, you can't have an underwater theme without this gal. There she is, Ariel. And above water, hanging out on the ice, there are some penguins having some fun up there as well. But even if you're not a fan of Rocky Road, look at this, they've got cookies and cream, chocolate sea salt caramel fudge, chocolate peanut butter fudge. They've even got coconut macaroons. No goodie is left out here at Minnesota's largest candy store. And take a look at this. Graduation ceremony is taking place right here in Minnesota's largest candy store. Obviously the schools are all closed. And they don't have necessarily a place to hold their graduation. And so this class is chosen right here to do it. And so this is a special Tommy Travels salute to all the graduates 
this year in 2020. Congratulations, your future is right ahead. This is the room that we just came in from and check this out. The theming in here is unbelievable. Look, they have a frozen theme over here, a Jack in the Beanstalk theme. Look at that, there's Jack climbing the beanstalk. And even on the ceiling, there's a giant poking his head through the clouds to see what's going on. Over here, there's Little Red Riding Hood. This place is just so magical. And look at that. That, I believe, yep, that's Rapunzel. <laughs> One thing you have to remember when you come to this place, look up. It is amazing. You never know what you're gonna find. Uh, Rapunzel, I've got some bad news for you. You're gonna need a hairnet because that is a health code violation right there. For some reason, this picture right here reminds me of Tiananmen Square. And then, like I said, it's every kind of candy and chocolate you can imagine. Even chocolate-dipped potato chips. Can you believe that? They have all sorts of almond bark from dark chocolate, chocolate, chocolate peanut clusters, coconut haystacks. Unbelievable. Yogurt animal crackers. <laughs> Yogurt animal crackers they have here. Hershey's Kisses. These things that you eat only after dinner. Bit of honeys. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on to even root beer barrels. I used to have those when I was a kid. I loved those things. Unbelievable. And here we are to our next room. Look at that. It's a superhero theme. They kept that from last time. Oh my gosh. Remember these fruit slices? They have them here too. And there are the orange ones that everyone likes. There's Captain America over there. Here's something that's different. Superman is wearing a mask. He's trying to get everyone to wear a mask. <laughs> but he's saying, I'm Batman. <laughs> he's saying, wear a mask. He's saying, I'm Batman. <laughs> I don't know which one is gonna win. It should be interesting. Are you in the mood for some blue raspberry licorice laces? Or some black licorice or pink lemonade laces? Well, <laughs> Minnesota's largest candy store has it covered with all of that and so much, much more. Look at all these aisles of goodness, including a huge popcorn bag right there. And a huge selection of taffy. Look at all these. Peaches and cream, peanut butter, and even peanut butter and jelly taffy. Pina colada, pineapple, unbelievable. And it looks like Spider-Man is wearing a mask. It looks like Superman got a hold of you. And even these guys up here, Wonder Woman and Thor, they're all wearing masks. Well, Incredible Hulk, great to see you. Long time no see. You're still looking a little bit angry. Standing around all this candy and can't eat it. <laughs> I agree. Totally understand you, my friend. I'd turn green as well. And I just love the theming of these balloons. This one is very patriotic. It's got a fireworks display going off in the sky. This one is very colorful, a whole bunch of flowers, but you have to be careful. It, right below that is some honeycomb and a whole bunch of bees. Look at that, it's just swarming with them and those are huge about the size of those murder hornets we've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I better get out of here. And now we have entered the big silo building of Minnesota's largest candy store and it is still Star Trek themed over on this side and then Star Wars themed over on this side. They even have stars in the ceiling that you can see stars in and planets on the walls place is absolutely insanely cool. They even have this police public call box, which I did not check out last time, so now we are gonna check it out. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these. Buttons to push, 
switches to flip, lights flashing on and off, pressure gauges, <laughs> more colorful buttons. Look at this. Knobs to turn. Oh my gosh. I could be in here for hours. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not going to be that long of a video today. And are you in the mood for some Chinese food but still have a sweet tooth? They've got you covered here too. Some thank you fortune cookies. <laughs> Wit and wisdom fortune cookies. It's baby's fortune. Even zoo fortunes. <laughs> they literally have everything here. And I see they still have the Joker up there checking things out. Hello, Joker. He seems to be undecided on the whole mask situation. And take a look at this soda area. They say they've got the largest selection of different types of sodas in the world. I don't know about that, but there certainly is a lot of them. Look at this. All this soda, they've got bacon flavor soda, dill pickle, even dog drool soda. Roy and Becky's Travels would love that. Look at all of these. Fungal fruit, oh my gosh. And even swamp juice. And I like grape soda, and they even got grape knee high, the kind that Radar O'Reilly from MASH used to drink. I may have to give that a try. Well, I'd have to say that this was another successful Tommy Travels adventure today at Minnesota's largest candy store, right there behind me. My goodness, we got to see a graduation today. We got to see a few other things that we didn't see last time, and that works up quite a thirst going through a place like that. And today we get to try a grape knee high. <laughs> We're going to give this a shot and see what Radar O'Reilly found so fascinating about this drink. So, cheers, folks. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. That is, that is the grape goodness that I was looking for. I definitely see where Radar is coming from. And that was an awesome adventure, you guys. If you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. Also, I have a join button now. If you'd like to become a member of the channel and throw some support my way, that would be awesome. And I'd like to thank my three most recent members, which is Roy and Becky's Travels, an awesome RV couple. Of course, Box Van D, awesome lady, wonderful heart, and a great channel. She does live streams every Sunday night. Wonderful person. And then, of course, Miss Stephanie, all the way from Australia. Wonderful, wonderful people. Thank you so much. And I will have links to their channels in the description below as well. You guys, this has been an absolute blast. Thank you so much for the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.